Energy efficiency is a good thing. The smarter our cars, the less greenhouse gases we emit. The more intelligent our light bulbs, the less electricity we use. But what if this isn't necessarily true? Since the oil crisis in the 1970s, cars have become more fuel efficient. But we're still using the same amount of petrol. Why? Because people are driving their cars more and they've grown larger and more powerful. We're also using more electricity in our homes, despite energy saving technologies like LEDs. It's because we're offsetting any efficiency gains by buying more appliances and larger houses. In 1865, an economist called William Stanley Jevons discovered an inconvenient paradox about energy efficiency. While England was racing to make more fuel efficient steam engines for its Industrial Revolution, Jevons predicted a surprise. Rather than using less coal, he said, society would consume more overall, as better engines were adopted for more purposes. And he was right. More efficient engines generate more opportunities for new uses and the chance to profit, driving up demand and economic growth. And we're seeing the same thing today. Fridges are more efficient, but we've cancelled out any efficiency gains by making them bigger and buying more of them. This graph shows the paradox in the aviation industry. While planes are less fuel intensive than three decades ago, we're flying more than ever before. And despite the fact that the US has cut its energy intensity by half, overall energy consumption has risen by over a quarter. Now, Jevons's original ideas are being revisited. Sometimes economists call the paradox rebound effect, but there's a key difference between the two terms. While the rebound effect measures a loss in efficiency gains, the Jevons paradox points to a deeper problem. That more efficiency alters the economies in ways that can't be measured, because the effects are too complex to be captured in economic models. Take the knock-on effects of efficient light bulbs. They can lower electricity bills for companies, reducing the costs of goods and services. But lower prices may then boost demand for these products, which increases energy use overall again. This isn't to say that energy efficient technologies shouldn't be promoted and utilised. But without a better understanding of how complex systems adapt to changes in energy efficiency, we could end up using more resources than we bargain for. And to avoid the Jevons paradox, we need a more reflexive and responsible approach to governance.